Okay, so today I am reviewing and unboxing the Jaggard's Electric Salt and Pepper Mill. And you can actually get this on Amazon. I'll leave all of the information on how to get it um, down in the description or comment section. So, <clears throat> it comes nicely packed and bubble wrapped. So we'll put this over here. <clears throat> and um, I read the box and it says I need four uh, AA batteries for each uh, pepper mill or salt and pepper mill. So if you could see, there are lines here or arrows to sh show you where exactly you're supposed to um, twist it or untwist it. So we're, I just twisted slightly. And this is what it looks like. So it's, here's the three pieces. Okay, so obviously this is the top. Stainless steel. And this is where you would put, um, I'm imagining. Yeah, this is where you would put the salt or pepper inside of here. And this is the grinding portion at the bottom. And you can twist it to be as fine or as, course as you need it so we'll be trying that out as well and then this is where the battery these are the battery slots right here so I have some batteries and we're just going to put them in um, it's a little bit tricky because it has this white part on it but not that bad because as you see it is you can still bend it so let's just put that in there. Oh, well, it's here. Let's try. Let's try oh, this way. Now I wonder. Oh, dummy, look. You could take that white piece off. <clears throat> so take the white piece off, the white ring off, and install the batteries. We're learning together, right? Okay, now. Put the white ring back on it was here and it just holds the batteries in place i believe okay and we're gonna do salt in this one and i have pink himalayan salt but i'm imagining or assuming you can use any coarse salt this is just the one that we had on hand place this back on it the battery pack and there's a hole that matches up and you just twist it back into place take the top make sure you line up the arrows and then twist that back into place as well okay so this is our salt and we're gonna do the same process with the pepper Okay, so we remember we take this white ring off and get our batteries and put them in there. And they just snap into place. Put the white ring back on. And we're gonna do pepper in this one. It would be great if I had a funnel um, or if the mouth of the this opening was a little bit bigger, but it's okay. Not too much spillage. Okay. Okay, so I just I filled this one up more obviously because I had more um, pepper than I had salt. Okay, same thing. We're going to line up the holes, place that back on there, and take the top, line up the arrows. Oh, here it goes, and 
twist into place. Okay, so I have a pink sheet here so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so according to the directions, all I have to do is push this, take off the cap at the bottom, and we're going to twist it a bit to make sure that it comes out kind of fine. And let's see how it goes. It barely takes any pressure, so that's really great. And it was uh, came out really quickly. Now let me see the, the salt. Same thing, we're gonna twist it because we want it pretty fine. Yep, this is great. Same thing. And it looks like there's a light. I don't know if you could see. You see that light? So that's great because then you can see exactly where your salt and pepper is going. I didn't notice it with the pepper. Let's see. Nope, the pepper doesn't have a light. Or maybe the light's not working on the pepper. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, so. Let's look at, let's look at the consistency here. So like I said, this is the Jaggard's salt and pepper mill, and you can get it on Amazon. So I would give this an, an A.